okay so to get started we have this y function and if we go to operate ch operators we can see down here we have this sinus function and cosinus function so let's look at the sinus function currently if we put this in you will see there's just a straight line and that is not what we want so then we have this time value and if we put it in yeah you can see it tiny bit changes I think it's two pixels so what we need to do is we need to multiply these values we need two of these multiply values one for the time and one for the whole script itself so let's start off with setting this value to one and this value to a hundred and you can see a curve appears and this one is how tight it is so if we write zero, you can see it's just a straight line. And you see that it gets tighter and tighter until we get to one and then it just goes on. And what this value does is how high it is. So 50 is small and you can see it just gets higher and higher. And how that works is you can see if we have zero, zero about here, then uh, it goes up 100 pixels and down 100 pixels. So if we just want it to be 100 pixels in total, we need to write 50. And then you can see it goes down 50 pixels and up 50 pixels. Okay, so what I did was I just replaced it so it only moves up and down. And you can see it moves smoothly and this is quite useful in many scenarios so if we now change this value you will see it goes up and down faster well if we change this value it will move up and down less and what the cosinus function does is it's really small but you see when I click the flag it starts in the middle of the screen it starts at zero well, if I use cosinus, it starts above. It starts at the, I think it's 30. So, what what is cosinus used for? Well, if I put set x to, and then I set x to the same thing, you will see it will move horizontal. And that's not that useful, but if I set one to sinus and the other to cosinus, it will move in a circle. Okay, so here I made a quick prototype because I want this character to go against the way it's facing and it's currently facing against the mouse pointer but I need to change the two velocity values by the direction and how I do that <coughs> is I, I set them to sinus and cosinus so let's make x to sinus and y to cosinus and then we just put direction so now if, if we try it you will see it tries to glide against the mouse pointer and why I did it so advanced is because if I for example said if I did that and then for example if space is pressed then only when I press space it will glide against the mouse pointer and when I stop it will kind of glide it's easier to see when I hide this value and this wouldn't really be possible without the sinus and cosinus function and therefore it's quite useful so now if we take a look at my game Hexafighters, also thank you GG Coder. If we look inside this, we can see there I use sinus and cosinus, here I use sinus and cosinus, and I use it basically everywhere. <laughs> it's, it's really useful. Uh, here I use it again, twice, uh, and again, and yeah, I just use it everywhere. Here you can see it again. <laughs> So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.